collection Rattling my replacement heart of gold I'm coming back to join the catch to cry I know the sun will sing the song before Are you game sharing, brother? Oh, what the fuck? Can I go buy the name of Wyclef? I bought the band. I know that's why I hear it, like everything you say twice. to Big D and AT&T Stadium, where we'll say hello to our broadcasting team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and Mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New England Patriots and the Dallas Cowboys. carry for Ezekiel Elliott and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Parker I know you call the play by play but you know your ball. If I throw these numbers at you all right six yards shy of 2,000 of total yards from scrimmage for a rookie running back. What do you think? Sounds like me in high school. <laughs> Sounds like you doing it no, right? It's, it's really fascinating in what he was able to do. The thing for me though he did that as a rookie. Where do you go from here? I mean, can you keep going up from those numbers, your sophomore campaign? I think that you can. <laughs> and all right away. What the fuck, dude? Oh, yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. For the team that lost it to get it back. Mm -hmm. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. So what? Everyone else That's is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other mm -hmm. direction mm -hmm. downfield. Huh? Or have moved away from it. Well, case, though, what do you mean? He's able to come up with the ball. Let's go, Hunt! Prescott on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Oh! They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, to let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. The Cowboys' all-time receptions leader, Jason Witten, the intended target, and it's third and short. This offensive unit today, they're going to need Dez. A full combo plate. Size, speed, toughness, not to mention incredible aggressiveness going and getting the football. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead it just brings up fourth down. Fuck is... Oh, so the shit. Cowboys will put it on fourth down as on as the veteran Chris Jones to kick it away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. Living nigga. Shit out of here. Yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. That's what I'm trying to do, but I don't know. I, I guess kick it far. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. 
Throwing on first down is Brady. Gronkowski's got it. Oh, hell no. Gronkowski may have had to miss the Super Bowl with the injury, but he was active in that parade, and now he's back on the field. And I'll tell you what, something you mentioned to me is that he was a big cheerleader for his teammates, never hung his head through the injury, celebrated with him all the way through. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. Now he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it over. You didn't oh, yeah. turn it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something positive to be gained from it. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Second down, Prescott. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And he'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. There's a complete to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, a flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, if you're going to pass on third and one, you better get a first down if you complete it. They completed it, but no gain. The aiming point has to be beyond the first down marker where you throw the ball. Oh, third I could have blocked one, you that. You can't anything that's even close to the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you run the risk of what we just saw there, not getting the first down. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us wanted to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. Okay, partners, New England comes out here to take the field on offense. And this is such an interesting story, how they've been able to do it year after year after year. Guys talk about parity in the NFL. Well, New England has kind of transcended that parity, and they've done it with guys that you don't normally think of as household names. Oh, the that's parts keep changing for New England. That's the amazing part on offense, all right? Offensive linemen change, receivers change, running backs change. We know the one constant is Tom Brady, and that's a huge deal for them. But to be able to do it in what you call the parity time, where you're exactly right, everyone's supposed to be pretty equal. New England still a top 10 offense year in and year out. In 2016, they were number four, and that helped, that helped them with the number one ranked defense as well. There's so many things that go into playing the position of linebacker. Some of them are actually subtle. Doing the drill work that you do all the time in practice and carrying it over to the oh, game. Get rid of blockers and get to the ball carrier and knock him down for a loss. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. A lot of people call the toss a probing play to see what they can get against the defense to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. They try again with Lewis. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. A well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Brady going to go on fourth down. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. How the fuck do you let him shoot? A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And he is a reliable target. Are they you like fucking to get him involved. kidding me? They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. 
Man, the fucking now it's lucky Whitehead on the return. Oh, they messed up the other. And they're going to start this oh drive in pretty God. good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now Dallas Where's gets set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. One go. man on the backfield, Elliott. <laughs> on first and ten, <laughs> Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. What the fuck? The 20, Ezekiel Elliott going to take it down, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 46 yards. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. And he's got it Sorry. as the lead is now 10-6. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. I shot that shit. And the decision bone. to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here come the Patriots again on offense, the Super Bowl champions. And, boy, they have been able to do it a lot of times, Charles, with unsung heroes, haven't they? Look at the names that led them through the playoffs. Hogan, White, Lewis, guys you just wouldn't think of. Yeah, Deion Lewis, a fifth-round pick. Three touchdowns against Houston in the divisional round. Chris Hogan, undrafted. He ends up with 180 yards in receptions, including five plays of 20 yards or more against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And how about James White, a fourth-round pick out of Wisconsin? Think about who he played oh. behind while he was at Wisconsin, and he turns out to be the unsung hero of the Super Bowl. Would have been the MVP if it wasn't for Tom Brady. And you mentioned James White at Wisconsin. He was behind who? Melvin Gordon and Monte Ball, right? That's correct. Brady. And that is incomplete. He was looking to find some space for Deion Lewis there. And it's fourth down. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and that just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They do go for it. It's Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. Oh, how do you switch this shit off? <laughs> Why are you gonna quit, nigga? I'm not quitting. Just playing. I'm just playing, nigga. Come down. That's why I broke your shit, nigga. I don't want that thing. I want to play like, like if I was playing okay. Madden. In the face again. <laughs> In his face. I know damn well he don't want to grab me no more. Oh my god, y'all freaking hey, suck. And he'll bring this one back to yeah. the 29. And now Dallas gets shot to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the what? confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? He said I'm on that pussy shit. Like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at him. Oh, I'm not the only nigga playing the point here. How am I on pussy shit? I'm playing a game. I think, oh, fuck. Hell no, I'm lagging, nigga. But all right, good plan. I can't even hear what you're saying. You're like, eh, eh, you sound like the fucking phone when you break it up. We'll see what they can Get it, man! Yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't even fucking pick a play. It's fucking lagging like that bad. Do you think there's not a freaking guard? Oh my god, dude. I'm not sure why he's here a little bit. Oh my god, bro. Oh, he's down the man. Safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Those niggas are easy, too. You're only 65. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Only have 22 points. No matter what position you play, but if you're on offense... Dude, I'd be, I'd be, it'd be 6 to fucking 13 if I wouldn't have scored a touchdown. But now I have fucking lag. 
toss play to Lewis. Oh, my God. Another gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Two minutes remain here. He's made a zoom, though. We're back to Arlington. All the big was bouncing. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. They'll come out in the pistol. They say the whole gun is in again. Why here, Curry? Here we go on fourth down now with Brady. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. Give him nine on the play, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And now they need to do that shit right. In the Super Bowl and right now, they should hit the floor. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing round. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. And now a first down. I'm really did. They should hit the floor and fuck the Super Bowl. Just skin the grass. Skin the grass. They get the touch of the grass, period. Me? Nigga, what the fuck am I doing to you, Adam? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. Let's look ahead for a quick minute. We don't have the schedules yet for next year. But what we do have Bro, are the five international games that will be played. Game. Four in London and then one again in Mexico. Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, got Orleans, us in Cleveland, Minnesota, Rams in Arizona. Those in London. And then Mexico's going to get a great game. The Raiders and New England. What are you? Oh, exactly right. Right. And just think about the ones in London. Remember, they're splitting them between the two different stadiums in London. So they get a different flavor in all these places. But Mexico, for the second straight year, the Raiders are coming oh, to town. That should be a whole lot of fun. Should be a ton of fun and a very good matchup. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Fresh set of downs here. Who guys done? I should leave. Prescott looks to throw on first. Drops it underneath. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Yards to go now. I need at least a field goal. Trying to get it before the half. So the defense oh. flinches, contact made, and the five yard penalty ensues. I didn't get the rebound back. Oh this, the body didn't even fart. I didn't even go up at all. I know I cut Prescott on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Got a man and he hits him in stride. A very solid gain of 27. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And the offense lining up first and ten. One man in the backfield, Elliott. First down, Prescott. Oh my. Out to his left. Where is the fucking ass? And it's knocked away and incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. No, I got to get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost Come on, man. slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. This is now whistles so. come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. 
Excellent way to end a drive. Go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. We have hit halftime. Still two. And pump the brakes, Larry. Pump the brakes. We are ready for quarter number three. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is oh, emphasizing on, the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. When a ball's tipped in the air and falls incomplete, sometimes it's almost insignificant. But not in this game, because three interceptions have already been thrown. So when this one got tipped in the air, you just had to wonder, could this be the fourth? Instead, it falls incomplete, and the guys on offense breathe a sigh of relief. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he finds big 87. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. CD, you wanted to get your thoughts just on the landscape of the offseason for each of these teams. Super Bowl in the rearview mirror, but so much going on. People look at the draft a lot, but there's a lot more that goes into the offseason for these front offices, is there not? It certainly is, and then even before Why we get jump? to the draft, you should have dealt with the tackle and the ball. Indianapolis every year, and you have about 350 of the top prospects coming together to get their physicals and interviews and on-field performance, and all that will get evaluated along with their game tape. And then you've got the free agents, all right? That starts, I believe, in early March. Or now the Wait, players start it, it, moving around to different teams. So your team's starting to take a little bit of shape there. For the agency. Come and get the draft's coming up. You're trying to put your team Excuse together me. with new draft picks. Have well, everyone start, got to do start to move in one direction. And then... All right, hey, hold up. Got to do it. Please, I'm ready. We get to see them on the field. Also, the first time. We start to get a better idea of how these teams are going to look when the fall begins. And whistle blown, and timeout here is taken, and it's taken by the kicking team. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Flyers. Take No, but everybody said they can't hear me, so I just got and no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They come out with one man and three tight ends. Oh, what the? Calling a gain of three. And on fourth down, they're out. How do you have Tom Brady get three yard run? That's ridiculous. Fourth and one. I don't think Wild Horses could have dragged that quarterback off the field. He was motioning to go for it from the start. And sure enough, it's the ground game that gets him the first down. Hey, class. Okay. Okay, class. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now this time, Brady will throw. Screen pass to Blunt. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Brady to throw on second down. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from. Sit down. Hello? Worst primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from. And said, now, what the I fuck? Where'd that nigga that. And that's what he did. The former Bill, Chris Hogan, the intended <laughs> receiver. And that'll bring up second Oh, my God. What? Hello? An incomplete pass certainly doesn't look like a good play. <laughs> Make sure nobody's back there. In the As many interceptions he's thrown, he's got to feel sorry. The ball Let's get it. Hit the ground. It didn't go in the other direction. Brady will try again on second down. And incomplete there. Oh, a nice okay. hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Throwing his Brady on third down. Rush coming in, he's taken down. Anthony Hitchens coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. Wow. And it'll be fourth down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. Put that down, Cole. What are you doing? Fuck! I mean, ah, oh, shoot. I hate that because I want my little curtain. Damn it, man. Oh, oh, I got it. What the fuck? What? Watch that bullet back. 
Nigga, yeah, that's your high. You should lie. Yeah, well, I, the first play he did, I ain't checked the bag. Oh, what the hell? Oh, man! Time out, run the football, don't give him a chance. Every play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback. Get off your I don't even know how they're not Oh, Anthony said it, and then Mario looked into it. Prescott on first down. Bryant with a catch right side. Oh, it's right there. The Cowboys are set up now with a first and goal. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. How do I go to fucking you up? I mean, I can't they come out of here. Oh my god, you're fucking me. First down and goal, the offense. And he will take it again. For the Cowboys score. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys will add on into their lead. Oh my. Man, I didn't even touch that little push pass. Look at you. You're a little, uh, Ralph Randall Emerson, is that his name? Yeah, it's just going to the meteorologist. Yeah, I have to kick it back in the Okay, you gotta come with Danny Amendola on the return. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard. Yeah, I agree with you. The Patriots can really up to go now. And last time was a pretty oh, one play and they're exceptional. We'll see if they can do better. Did you pick a flower? Oh my god, he's looking not good at fucking wind going. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Why? Oh, my interception. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker in the middle. I think you nah, exactly right. keep it. I don't think the oh, trying to figure out which play oh, out of here. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people. Jimmy, why are you standing on my bed like that, dude? X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Oh my fucking, I mean, oh my gosh. Guys, shut up. All of them? As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post -grab? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? They'll go to Blood, try and pound it in. Now he will get into the That's end ridiculous. Do that to score the whole game. Do I get I got to turn. Guskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. Rebound, Thompson. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
Did you pick a player that just takes forever like that? Backed up in their own territory. Why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Second down, Prescott. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. Oh, my. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And again, it's Prescott. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. On third down, it's Prescott. Flushed out right. And some room to work. Oh. The 12 yards that time and picking up the first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Oh, dude. Break down his Here we go. First and 10 now. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Prescott. Flush to his right, and he's got room. Oh, it'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He's what are you talking about, dude? I'm thinking of oh, oh, oh. second and short. And his ah, butter finger. Gavin Escobar, his big tight end, was the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all yeah, over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. Yeah, I think that's fucking to play. The pass. No, you got on two clock. We're running on the time. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chain. Got covered! Their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. First down throw for Prescott. Ah. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Shane McClellan what? in there to pick up his second sack now uh, of the afternoon. I don't know. I don't know. It's only one play game, so. Another pistol look here. So Prescott here to throw. And this one complete to Wheaton over the middle. Touchdown, Will extend their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now. I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Nah, I won't, bro. I'm retiring. This is your retirement game. Your retirement game. I didn't put on Ricky. What are you talking about? Nigga, I just, I just started, I just started the game. I didn't even check any of that. I just started it. When I play though, it, it's usually on pro. No, I'm looking at it. Don't pro. I think you're just mad because somebody beat you. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. All I did was change my playbook a little bit, fix it up. When you're playing catch up, 
every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy. Nigga, I'm not playing. We talk about players blitzing all the time. I do that shit way before you even pursuit. fucking post up. Well, running right. start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, he really didn't give anybody a chance to get up Throw there it. and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. Yeah. This is intercepted, and that should get do it. it. What you quit it for? Yeah, if you quit it, my bitch. Yeah, do it. Disconnection. Nah, I won. I won. Up, Your peer up. has quit the game. Yeah! Let's get it. I make niggas quit. Yeah, big boy stuff over here, son. You're gonna draw mine and we're playing all bad. Right? Nah, I won. I'm retiring. That was my retirement game. I'm not playing Madden no more. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna let my cousins play, so. Play me, push. Nah, my cousin wants to play. I'm yeah, playing some of the time. I'm sorry. Nah, I won though. I won though. I beat you bad, so I don't even have to. Nigga, you took that hoe. I know you, that shit was not on. Nigga, that shit was not ready. You never got about. those pigs, did he? Yes, I did. I said you were never got those But I did though, didn't I? Nah, come on, puss. Alright, bye.